Konnichiwa, this is the Shogunstein, and this is a look at the historical background and what's in the box of the new deluxe version of Jiraku, a game that is a area control trick-taking game that takes place during the uh, Shogunate in Japan, just before the uh, Sengaku period, when Japan is going to be kind of uh, shogun list and the Daimyo family is going to be fighting each other out. This is a new version. This is a deluxe version. We've sent a uh, copy of this from Amazon Vine. So in the interest of full disclosure, we did get this review copy. The copy we had prior to this was a small box game. And this is the uh, newer version, the deluxe version. One big difference is this contains two-player rules. In fact, there are two different two-player rules here, whereas the small box, small box game which was from uh, TMG Games, I believe, was minimum three players, which made it uh, more difficult to get to the table here as uh, we usually play two-player games here. So let's take a look at the historical background, and we'll also take a look at what's in the box, but you'll see the box. This is still not a, a big game. This is not a big box game, but it is much it is bigger than the box that the previous version came from. And I believe the previous version was a reprint of a previous version of that. So let's do some historical background. So Japan, you know, typically had an, an emperor, but there is a period in Japanese history where, like Europe, they have feudalism. So if you remember in Europe, you had a feudal system Develop feudalism is a uh, political, economic, and social system based on land, loyalty, and protection. It is a hierarchy. And you'll see in, in Europe, you had a king, and then you basically had your nobles and lords and knights, and then on the bottom would be the serfs. Well, in Japan, they also developed a feudal system independently of each other, but with a lot of uh, similar characteristics. You're going to have a shogun, and then you're going to have the nobles, which are daimyo. You're going to have the samurai, and then you're going to have the peasants, which aren't here. And actually, below the peasants, we're going to be the, the merchants. The merchants, even though they had some monet, were considered lower than the, the peasants. So you have these similar systems. I always like this illustration that is in a, a history of the Edo period that I picked up in Japan a number of years ago but again it kind of in this graphic here i think you know kind of shows that hierarchy and again i'm assuming that this is going to be a shogun or a daimyo here and you got the people that are lower on the feudal system the lower on the hierarchy and you can see where they're they're seated so this game in particular takes place during the end of the uh ashikaga shogunate which ruled Japan from about 1338 to 1573, and it's also known as the Muromachi period. It's a very important period in Japanese history because a lot of uh, important uh, cultural things are going to develop in Japan during this uh, period. That includes things like the uh, Zen Buddhism, the spread of Zen Buddhism in Japan. It's going to include... Things like uh, the tea ceremony is going to develop and the building of things like the uh, Golden Pavilion in Kyoto. And Kyoto is going to be important here, especially when we talk about what the name of this game means and kind of the theme of this game. In the uh, 1470s, the uh, Muromachi or uh, Ashikaga Shogunate had some internal turmoil, which is going to lead to the Onin War which eventually is going to weaken this shogunate. And that's going to lead to the end of the, uh, the shogunate. And eventually you're going to have a period called the Sengoku period where Japan lacked a uh, shogun and uh, the different daimyo families are going to uh, compete for the unification of Japan. And then, you know, the most powerful daimyo is going to become the, the, the shogun. And that's the Sengaku period, and there's a lot of fighting in that period. And again, that was the uh, period after the uh, collapse of the Ashikaga um, 
shogunate or the Muromachi uh, period. So this game takes place at the, uh, again, sort of the end of the Ashikaga uh, shogunate. And eventually during the Sengoku period, and you'll see some of the cards here from the, the game, you're going to get the emergence of the three daimyo that will eventually unify Japan and reestablish the shogun. And you have uh, Oda Nobunaga, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, and eventually Tokugawa Iyasu, who will complete the unification of Japan and his shogunate will rule from uh, about 1600 to about uh, 1868 with the Meiji Restoration. And his downfall, the downfall of the Tokugawa, is going to be 1854 when Commodore Perry shows up. Now, in terms of the theme of this game and the name of the game, Jiraku, that refers to this um, weakening period where there is no one really strong enough to, to rule Japan. And you have an emperor who is sort of a figurehead, doesn't have any real power his power is going to depend upon the, uh, the powerful daimyo families or the, the shogun. So Jiraku actually means enter Kyoto. Kyoto was the capital of Japan before Tokugawa Iyasu and the Tokugawa shogunate rules, and they move the capital to Edo, and that's known as the Edo period, which is today Tokyo. So the name of this game, Jiraku, comes from the uh, term, which is enter Kyoto. So when a daimyo was powerful enough to assume the shogunate or assume leadership of Japan, they were doing Jiraku, which was entering Kyoto. And it's basically obtaining the authority to rule Japan. And that was the goal during the Sengoku period, which is after the uh, period where this uh, game takes place at the end of. And again, Oda, Hideyoshi, and eventually Tokugawa will, they are looking to do Jiraku. And they're going to be different because they're going to take more of a military approach. So that's some of the historical background of the, the game. Now... What do you get in the, in the box here? So again, you get a little bit of a bigger box. Again, it's, it's still a small box game, but you're getting a bigger box than was the, the version that was previous to this. So here's an example of some of the card art, and I picked out again these three because they are the people who eventually will enter Kyoto and gain the, the authority to rule, and then ironically, Tokugawa will... Uh, move the capital of Edo, out of Kyoto. Kyoto will remain where the, the, the emperor had been, been staying. So there's an old uh, story about uh, you know, the different personalities, and the story goes there's a mockingbird, and they asked Oda, what would you do if uh, you know, the mockingbird wouldn't sing? And he said, you know, I'll crush it until it sings. And Hideyoshi's like, I'll force it to sing. And Tokugawa you know, again, reflecting his patience, says I would wait for it to, to, to sink. So these are some of the cards, some of the card art that you get here. Very good quality cards here. Good quality cards. Here's the, the map of the game. And you, it's a little bigger, I think, than the map that was in that smaller version. Here's some of the, the meeples you're getting. So you're getting sort of your, your soldiers, your, sort of your samurai, and you got blue, yellow, I'm not sure what color this is. Little Shogunstein, what color is that? Pink. Pink. It's a pink color. So I can tell it's different from the other ones. I just don't know. It's pink. And then here's red. And then again, you have sort of a cavalry guy on horseback. So you got the board. You got the meeples. You got a couple of uh, tokens here. So not a lot of uh, components, but a little more than what came in that little box in the previous version. Now, um, you got two rule books here. You have a Japanese rule book. So those of you that want to practice your Japanese, you can read the Japanese rules. It's kind of cool to have. And then you have the English rule book. And again, this game is combination area control and trick-taking, two of our favorite things.
things. And what's different with the, the rules here is there is now a uh, two-player version, which didn't exist in the previous version. So you have a two-player with the neutral player, and then you have a 2v2 for two players. So that's a look at what's in the box here for Jiraku, a uh, game we were sent from Amazon Vine to try out. So we're looking forward to uh, playing it at two players, maybe also bringing this to a uh, game day or, or game night. Certainly love the, the theme here. You got the, the map and uh, some cool Japanese artwork on here. You got nice meeples. Card quality is good. I love the fact that you got some of these very important historical figures in here. And we'll see how this plays at, at two players. We'll let you know our, our thoughts. But again, this is just a look at the historical background and uh, what's in the, the box here. And again, this is not in the box. This is from my uh, book on the Edo period. But a look at what's in the, the box here on uh, Jiraku. This is the Shogun's theme out.